Hello guys, this is Coding Magic YouTube channel and today in my uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how we can download and install uh, Jenkins uh, successfully in our Windows 10 machine. So Jenkins is, you know, it's one of the most popular tool for CI uh, in development world. So let's start. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to go to Google and in search bar type Jenkins and here you will see www.jenkins.io this is an official website for Jenkins click on this link and here you will see the information about the Jenkins and you can read if you want and here you will see the download button and also I will put in this link uh, to my uh, description part of this video and please you can check it and you can if you click it it can directly uh, take you take you, you to this page and click on download and here you will see uh, download for different operating systems since we are going to download to Windows click on the Windows one if you scroll down you will see this one Windows click on Windows and here it's automatically started this one the Jenkins dot MSI this is totally 76.6 megabyte um, now after some seconds the download will be completed yes it is completed you can go to your downloads folder and check or you can directly click here and the download with it now we're gonna open and here click next this is a default uh, file, default uh, folder where Jenkins will be installed. Click on Next, and here uh, we have two options for logon type. The first one is Run Service as Local System, and Run Service as Local or Domain User, which will require account and a password. I don't have account and a password for this one, so choose the first one. Click Next, and here the port number to be assigned. It can be any number uh, which is available in your uh, machine. So I'm gonna leave it as a default 8080 test port. It says it is available. Click on next, and here it is asking for Java JDK location, and it will require Java JDK. So you need to have Java JDK. Uh, right now I have the 15th version. Click on next. Click on next. Install. So installation is has started. Yes, whatever the Windows is asking to uh, click on yes, and it it is now completed. Click on finish, and as you can see, this in this browser it automatically pop up. So it is localhost eighty eighty, and it says uh, it is refused to connect. Why? Be because there is a reason. Uh, if you go to back your Jenkins and download uh, page, you will see hardware and software requirement. If you click on this one, uh, and it says software requirement is Java. And if you click on Java, it says which Java version we need to have. Right now in my machine, the Java version is 15, but it doesn't work with 15. It says 15 are not supported. It only works with Java 11 or Java 8. So then what we can do uh, in your CMD, open the command prompt, enter, and let's check Java version, Java space hyphen version. As I said, in my Windows 10, I have right now 15th version of Java JDK. So I have to install the 11th version and it's going to work. How to do? It's very simple. Uh, go to google.com. Then here, type Java JDK 11. You will see the first link. Java SE Development Kit 11. Download Oracle. This is official from Oracle website. And I will put in this link to my uh, description part of this video. You can directly click and download. And here you will see uh, Java JDK 11. Since my, win, uh, since my Windows 10 is 64-bit, so I'm going to choose this one, and there is a link. You need to click this one, JDK 11, Windows 64-bit.exe, and 
accept whatever it's asking download here and download is started and what I say is if it's not started download it will like uh, it will take you to the login page for the Oracle you, you need to create a uh, account for that one uh, provide your information and the account will be created and it, this uh, download uh, will be available again so since uh, i have an account and I, it's uh, my account is already active with our uh, oracle so it's directly went to download by this one and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna directly click this one directly i'm gonna click the link for the oracle 11 and accept whatever windows is asking uh right now we need to wait a little bit and it says preparing for installment the 11th version of java jdk click next next and it's copying the new files so java jdk 11 successfully installed and close let me close this session and let me open again the chrome prompt and here let me check java space hyphen version it says java version 15 uh, why it's 15 the reason is we didn't uh, change the environment variables in your search bar here the short way is type environment and you will see added the system environment variables click on this one and this window pops up and you will see environment variables option click on that option and here under system variable under system variable uh, we need to change so you're gonna have path here and click on edit and here we have this one right now a java jdk 15 has been we need to uh, let me delete this one we don't need this one and i need to go to under c program files and we have java as you can see this is the java 11's version click on 11's version click on bin folder and right now i need to copy this location right click copy go back to your environment uh, variables uh, page here and here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna insert click on new and right click past uh, and okay next one we need to edit java home uh, where is java home yeah, here click on edit it's a java home variable and i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just pass the new one the java 11 and I, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna delete uh, the bin folder so this is uh, what i have here and that's one second one second java home edit uh, okay so click on 11 uh, okay and click okay and i let me close this one and cmd the command prompt and java space hyphen version it still says 15 okay let me go back to my environment system variable edit and here i think in the past edit we need to delete this one yeah we need to delete this one c program files common files oracle java java path let me delete this one okay 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 and close this one and let me run it again uh, cmd go to chrome prompt type java space hyphen version yes as you can see right now my java version is 11 it's changed i have changed it from 15 to 11 that's good uh what i'm gonna do right now is uh, most probably i need to reinstall the uh, re reinstall the eclipse uh, to do that 
Oh, let me check whether I have access or not. Yeah, still we couldn't uh, go there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to uh, control panel, go search for control panel and search this one, control panel. Here, go to uninstall on the programs. You will see uninstall the program. If you can see this one, please change view by to category and you will see it. Uninstall the program. And I have here Jenkins. This is the list of available programs in my machine. And I have the Jenkins there. So click on Jenkins and uninstall. Yes. I'm uninstalling Jenkins. Yes. Uninstall Jenkins. Yes. Right now Jenkins is uninstalled. And I'll go to my downloads folder here back. And I will see there is the Jenkins. Yeah. This is, I have two. Actually, I have two. This, those are same. So just click on whatever you have for Jenkins MSI. Click on uh, Gen Jenkins MSI installer. Click on next. Basically, we're going to repeat the same step, whatever I have done earlier in this video. So this default uh, allocation, I'm going to choose this one, run service as local system, go to next. And this is the port, test port, it is available, click on next. And this is OK. So it says where it needs to select the Java JDK. I'm going to change this one and I'm going to change, go back and you need to select whatever the Java 11's folder location. I'm going to click this one. This popping up here. OK. And click on Next. And Next. Install. The installation is right now going on. Excel, whatever Windows is asking. Uh, and soon, I think, we will be available to see the Jenkins as you can see in localhost 8080 it says can't reach this page okay so uh, first it was giving me error but uh, when i wait some time it uh, automatically came uh, it automatically pop up this uh, so guys we have successfully installed jenkins and here it says for next one we need to provide the administrator password that password is located under here so I'm going to my, uh, it says go to C Windows, okay, go to your location file, location C, and here with Windows, it says go to System32, system uh, where is that, System32 folder, it should be... Where is that? System32. Yeah, yeah, this one. System32. Go to System32. Go to config. Go to config. Continue. And system profiles. Go to system profile. And go to app data. Go to local. And go to Jenkins go to dot jenkins folder go to secrets secrets and go to initial admin password initial admin password double click and i'm gonna open this one with notepad okay and yeah this is the uh this is the file opened so i'm gonna copy go back to the localhost 8080 here uh, right click past and continue yeah the setup is uh right now it says customize jenkins and you will need we're gonna do install suggested plugins so click here and uh, those plugins are right now will be downloaded here so guys uh thank you very much uh, once this is done uh, you're gonna create an account with jenkins and you can successfully use jenkins in your projects uh, this is gonna take some time, so wait, uh, be patient. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video here. And here it's asking, as I said, the uh, username, password, confirm password, full name, email address. You're gonna provide uh, uh, some username, or what you can do, skip and continue as admin. I'm gonna click this one. Uh, Jenkins URL. Uh, so save and finish uh, you have skipped the set of admin user 
okay, I have skipped the uh, admin user, so start using Jenkins. Uh, and right now, the Jenkins will launch in my uh, machine. Yeah, guys, this is a Jenkins, and we can now successfully use this in our Windows 10. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I will be uh, glad to answer your questions and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my uh, coding magic youtube channel and don't forget to share this video thank you very much have a good wonderful day